Zambia's main stadium was filled to capacity with an excited crowd. Half a dozen government leaders and presidents were there from across the continent. Edgar Lungu, who narrowly won the presidency, faces an uphill battle to fix Zambia's struggling economy and improve the lives of its poor. On my part, I have learned that there's no time and latitude to settle scores. We have got work to do. Let us seize the opportunity to rise above the different points of view that divided us during the campaigns. He beat his main opposition by only 100,000 votes, but Hakeyan Dehichilema says the election was riddled with fraud. His efforts to block the inauguration and have the results annulled were rejected by the country's highest court. He says that's a clear case of the government manipulating the judiciary. This inauguration is illegal, is unconstitutional. He never won the election. We believe we won the election, but our petition was never had. So there's a crisis, a constitutional crisis. But the chances of Zambians hearing dissenting voices like Hichilema's have been greatly reduced after authorities recently closed down several independent media outlets. President Lungu's biggest challenges will be uniting the country and improving the economy. Growth has slowed, unemployment and inflation are rising. That makes life harder for millions of Zambians who are already struggling to survive below the poverty line. Political analyst Alex Mwamba Ngoma says Lungu can bring people together. There are people, especially from the opposition, who do not seem to be very happy with what has happened. They don't have to like each other. Lungu has to reach out to them, keep an open door policy, allow them to keep coming to state house so that they can discuss the issues as they way forward. It's something all these people and millions more beyond the stadium are depending on. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Lusaka, Zambia.